everyone, my name is Savannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Paleo Pines. Today is episode 12 or 11, I think. Um, unfortunately, it looks like Raspberry is not a happy helper just yet, but we do have seeds all over our ranch, so that is pretty good. So as I pick these up, let me just go ahead and let you know what today's episode is going to be about. So we do have, it looks like a, a crop or multiple crops maybe just one crop to harvest here. We don't have to water anything, thankfully, because it is raining, but we are going to try to work towards repairing the windmill today because Raspberry is not a happy helper yet. But let's start off this morning by doing Raspberry's like daily chores, I guess you can call them. We're gonna pet her, we're going to give her, I don't think I have anything in my inventory that she'll like. I don't really think she likes potatoes. Uh, we're going to pet her, we're going to sing her her friend song, um, and make her follow us for a walk, all that kind of stuff, because we still do want her to be a happy helper. However, because she's not quite there yet, we're going to try to work on the windmill, and then tomorrow, or next episode, is the picnic. So we will go ahead and do that next episode, and then after that is going to be uh rare dino hunting day or whatever it is because uh the day after the picnic is the day that a lot of the rare dinos are supposed to spawn now that also um or i guess also i want to pay attention today because it's raining and certain dino colors appear when it's raining or when it's different weather where is where's my shovel do I? What the heck happened to my shovel? Did I accidentally lose it somehow? Or leave it somewhere? I have no recollection of losing my shovel. That's a problem. So when we go into town, uh, maybe we see about buying another one. It's not in my inventory, right? I'm not crazy. That's a journal, a flute. That's not a shovel, no. Okay. I didn't even know the shovel was something you could put down. That's not a shovel. If we go to tool... Oh. Oh my goodness. I am crazy. <laughs> okay, great. Good way to start off the episode. So getting our shovel and making sure that we pick up after our dinos, because I don't want to forget that. Um, and then hopefully Raspberry is only like a day or so away from becoming a happy helper because we've gotten her to like full green. I guess maybe yesterday was like the first day, right? Um, Cause that's when she got her pen that is uh, sufficient for her, the, the forest biome pen. So hopefully that happens relatively soon because that's what we're waiting on in order to um, get to the canyon, to the desert biome area. Let's grab these cranberries, because I do believe she likes cranberries, if I remember correctly. Here you go, raspberry. She likes berries and things. Okay, beautiful, perfect. Now, you should be, if I can actually see you, almost there. Beautiful, and I guess a walk, or what did I miss? We fed her, we pet her, we sang to her. I guess, yeah, maybe just a walk. Okay, well, let's jump on sage here and take off into town taking a look around um is there anything that i want to bring with me or leave here actually let me empty my pockets just a little bit so we don't run into a problem um we don't need to take the shovel we don't need to take the dreamstone or the fertilizer i'm gonna keep a stack of wood and a stack of stone. We don't need the seeds. Uh, maybe we can sell these for some shells. And we'll look at maybe planting some of these seeds that we picked up when we get back. Because I don't quite remember which ones are good in which season. Um, yeah, that should be good. Checking our journal here, I don't think there's really anything... Uh, oh, fiber and stone we need to bring to Granny at home. Is she at home? No, she's trading in Pebble Plaza, of course. Um, find six carrots. We don't have that yet. Repair the windmills, what we're going to work on today. Yeah, okay, so we should be good to go into town. 
So we're into town, we have a raspberry. Should we take anybody with us? Mm, yeah, you know what? Let's grab Bart because we can always go into Dapplewood and smash some forest logs because it's always good. I think we're gonna need a lot of that for future little projects. Uh, no, I didn't want you to follow me. I wanted Barty Boy to follow me. I guess Lucky can come too, just in case we need a, a second steed. We'll just take a whole party with us. But anyway, just in case we go into there and uh, Cressy is so excited. My goodness. <laughs> uh, just in case we need some smashing abilities there. But let's see, maybe we'll find some pretty colors for uh, for the rain. That's a pretty color, but I don't think it's a rare color. <gasps> that one over there, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Oh my goodness, are we really going to get another Styracosaurus? Because we don't really need one, but look! Look at how pretty it is! Let's just see, let's put it to sleep, or, or make it have a nap. Put it to sleep sounds bad, but let's let it have a nap. Did I not do that right? And then we can see what color it is, because I've never seen this one before. And then maybe we tame it and release it into the wild so that we kind of, you know, quote unquote, save it kind of thing. So we can find it in the future. But look, it's so cute. Absolutely adorable. Taking a couple screenshots, of course, because I want to be able to remember it. Or if I need it for a thumbnail picture, you know. Strachiosaurus got bored. Of course. Bring out your journal. Silver is common. Really? It's a common color? Because I've never seen it before. Okay, well, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I thought it was super special. I guess there's another one over there. How come I'd never seen this one before? Am I just going crazy? Oh, we're off to a great start. <laughs> great start for today's episode. Couldn't find my shovel. Thinking common dinosaurs are rare. It's good. It's great. Okay, well, let's pick up all this and then head into town. Um, and I just want to see where everybody's at and uh, see if there's anything special going on in town. And then we'll run over to the windmill and see what supplies we actually need. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's just a little yellow one. For a second, I thought it might have been like an albino because um, I kind of saw like the lighter color, but... Unfortunately, no, but I, I hope we find one uh, at some point, sometime soon. What does Pippin have to say for us? Or Pippin have to say to us? Hello, Pippin. You look like someone who needs some poppin'. Poppin' anyone? Let's chat. Hello again, Savannah. How may I attempt your teeth today? An unusual request. Uh, spicy? That's just not right. Are you sure you don't want to stick with a traditional crunchy poppin'? Absolutely not. This is way outside my comfort zone. Okay, do you have anything spicy like a spring onion or a garlic? I will get you some, Pippin. I don't have any on me right now, but I'm pretty sure we already had that conversation. I'm just forgetting. It's been a little bit of a break in between episodes and going into the new year, which happy new year, everyone, by the way. I really want to try to get uh, consistent and stay consistent with episodes across the channel. So not only with our Paleo Pines Let's Play. Oh, garlic. <gasps> Don't we need, we need three of these, right? For one of our quests. We can actually sell these, these taters, right? You know what? Let me actually see. Oops, wrong button. Let me actually see what we need. We need three garlic. So it would be 150 shells, which I don't really have. And we need, wow, we actually need six? If he doesn't take them, I guess. Um, But do we need potatoes for anything? No, we don't. We do need uh carrots, six carrots. Okay, let's see. What else can we sell? We don't need the potatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and sell them. Uh, we don't need the pears, really. We just picked those up off the ground, so I can sell them. Um, we can sell maybe one of those and keep some of them. Actually, you know what? We can sell all of them because we're going to find some more on bushes. They're not really worth that much anyway. Um, so 44. Can I get like six more shells, please? <laughs> that would be great. And then I have three. Oops, three. 
garlics. Okay, beautiful. Now let's just hope that who needed them again? Doesn't actually take them from us. Uh, Owen and Pippin. So let's go talk to Pippin first, not to make the spicy pop in, but hopefully his little pasta quest thingamajiggy. Chat, thank you. Please accept this in exchange. Uh, what did you give me? Oh, 100 shells. Okay, that's not too bad. Now we just need 50 more to be able to buy <laughs> three more garlic uh, for the other quest, but that's pretty good. Let's see if there's anything interesting on the board here that we can do. Reward is five tomatoes. Uh, then he just needs fiber. That's easy. Um, lucky trinket to Agme, please. Okay, sure. Uh, making plain rice tonight and I'm missing some ingredients. Can anyone? I don't have any garlic. I'm so sorry. And then, sure, I can do that one for a saddle. Okay, great. Um, let's see, because I'm the worst at, uh, you know, process of elimination, or, or not process of elimination, but um, order of operations, I guess, in making sure that I don't have to go back and forth multiple times. So we are going to go talk to... We have to collect it from Marlo, deliver... Oh, that's very easy. They're right across from one another. Okay, so... Marlo, you have something that you want us to give to Coraline and you're literally right there. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. I will walk the four or five steps to Coraline. Give Coraline your lucky trinket. Yep, there you go. Great. Or I guess his lucky trinket. And then go back to Marlo. And I think this one's a saddle reward, right? Uh, yeah, we got a saddle. Cool. Thank you so much. That was uh, really easy and makes you seem very lazy. Uh, and then collect from Pippin, deliver to Agme, and then return to Pippin. I think that one was the shells, right? Or it was the five tomatoes. Either way, very easy. We'll get these out of the way real quick and then we'll go talk. Uh, then we'll go find the uh, windmill and see what we need for that. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I... Never mind. I need to... Uh, no? Did he already give me the thing? Or do I have to do that one first? Oh, collect from Pippin. Okay, I just missed it. Alright, and now down to Granny. I wish Granny would just go home already. <laughs> I need to deliver stuff to her at home. Yes, here's a trinket or whatever you need. Yeah, your lucky trinket. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And let's go get our reward from Pippin. But as I was saying, I hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. In the new year, I really want to be very consistent with episodes and releases and things like that. I'm kind of um, readjusting my approach to YouTube in general, just to make sure that I can get some consistency back. I have had a bit of a rough time, bit of a busy uh, couple months or so, and I'm really looking forward to getting kind of back in a routine, and I'm hoping that my like new kind of strategy, for lack of a better word, is going to work out for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm really hoping that it's, it's going to work out, but I really do want to continue Paleo Pines and this whole kind of long play slow play kind of episodes because I really enjoy making them. Where am I going for the windmill? Is it up here? That's right. It's up here to the right. Um, so yeah, so I really want to continue on with this as well as some more like Planet Zoo, uh, Prehistoric Kingdom stuff, all that kind of stuff onto the channel. All right, windmill. Let's see what we need. I'm sure some stone and some wood. Yeah, wood, stone. Oh, that's easy. Okay, confirm. Confirm. And confirm. Restore. Look at that. I wonder what we can do with it. Woohoo, we did it. <laughs> nice, beautiful screenshot. Uh, the windmill is working again. I can't wait to tell Marlo he'll be overjoyed. All right, Lucky. Let's head on into town again and tell Marlo because that was super easy. Um, I don't know what it does. So hopefully it does something fun and cool for us. And I'm really hoping that we can find some kind of rare color dinos very soon. I wonder if there's anything that kind of helps us out 
that uh that'll make it a little bit easier or if you guys have like a routine in the game that helps you find rare dinos do let me know because i would be really interested i really do want to get some uh some special colors they even added recently some new colors to the game and i really do want to find them what can i do for you on this fine day you what the windmill is working again incredible astounding i knew you could do it the whole community is going to be thrilled i can't thank you enough savannah but i'll do my best here uh a a weather vane a windy reward for a windy job well done oh well thank you very much oh you have something else for me what can i do for you on this fine day what else do you want you know i my pals a bit of a discount on my wares just to say thanks for always saying hello oh are we like better friends with marlo now uh yeah we're a pal okay very cool so we get a little bit of a discount that's going to help us a lot um beautiful okay great uh let's see um we need 50 more shells right because oops yeah now we you know what maybe we can sell some of this wood to marlo because we have so many stacks of it this might be able to get us yes absolutely okay beautiful then we can buy our garlics for owen and we can go say hi to owen the windmill actually ended up being an easier job than i thought it was going to be so uh we're going to just kind of explore and get a couple other things done um Yes, three. Confirm. Okay, great. Uh, get a couple other things done in this episode and maybe find a new friend or two. I don't know. I really, we don't really have a whole lot of money. Um, so I'm really afraid to bring more dinosaurs home. Kind of like I was saying in last episode, but I don't know. They're, they're like my favorite part of the game. So that's kind of all I want to do. But let's, oh, what was that? There was something to investigate on the floor. Can you guys get out of the way? What is that? Is that a dinosaur track? Could it be a Parasauropolis footprint? <gasps> Only one way to find out. Are there gonna be more? Are, this can't, there's, there's no way. We're not finding the para, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the para right now, right? There's no way. Oh, it's the, oh, that's right. It's just the Corythosaurus. Dang it, almost there. It's you! Oh, hello. It's a Corythosaurus! We could use some help with tracking. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, well... <laughs> I didn't remember that that little part showed up, and uh, I thought, no way that this was the end of the game. I'm just gonna pick up these little pieces of wood really quick, and then we'll talk to Mari on our way to Owen. I did not forget about him, but you know, the ooh piece of candy kind of things. Too tempting. Shucks, is it that time already? I'm fresh out of snacks. Tracking always makes me real hungry. I thought I saw a Parasauropolis track. Oh, well, we've all been there. Real easy to mix up a para and a quarry. Huh? Okay, great. You know they've come from the same genus, don't ya? They're both hadrosaurs. That's why the prints are so similar. Easy to get caught out. Don't worry though. I can give you some pointers on tracking. Once I've eaten this, I'm hopeless without snacks. Nothing beats a tasty turnip or three to banish a grumbling stomach. Ick, I don't like turnips. If you can bring me some, I'll happily give you a lesson. Oh, okay. Thank you. I guess everything comes with a price. <laughs> we don't even know how to grow turnips yet. So that's gonna be something we're gonna have to work on. Are there any cranberries on this bush over here? There are. I want to make sure that I uh, collect all these because right now these wild uh, fruits and things are really what's funding our entire ranch because uh, we're having to wait on some some crops and things to grow. Okay, over the hill to talk with Owen. Give him his three garlic for whatever the heck he's going to give us. Hi, Owen. Wow, thanks. Uh, oh, he gave us spring onion seeds. That's really helpful. In fact, actually, uh, so it is, uh, what, it's Teresa, right? Teresa, um, spring onions are good in this season and they only take five days, 
but we don't have that many days. So Jurassos is next. Okay, so we probably won't want to plant those. However, we do have carrots back at the ranch. So that is something I think we will want to plant. Yes, just the carrots though. Yeah, okay, cool. So we'll plant the carrots today before the episode's over. But for now, let's just take a meander around and see what we can pick up and see what dinosaurs we can find and see if there's anything special. Look at how pretty that little rainbow is. I still can't get over how cute and adorable this entire game is. Like, I just, it's amazing. <laughs> I really do like it. So Corythosauruses, we of course still need to work on this garden area. Um, oh, ooh, look at the purpley pink. That's a cool dino. There's two of them. And the like coffee colored one, I have that one in my other playthrough and I really like it. Um, but anyway, oops, that's not the way down. Um, what are they saying? I really, I really do like the game. Uh, it's adorable and uh, the art style is really, really cute. So let's head over to, uh, to Dapplewood, I think. And then we can head back maybe and do some, some farming. Is there anything rare down there? No, it does not look like it. Um, and around the corner are some dinos, right? Oh, that's right. This is why we need Bart. Barty boy, come here. We gotta smash through some uh, some logos here. And get to the dinos on the other side. Look at that. Except for this is just normal wood. This isn't forest wood. Oh, Bart leveled up. Woohoo! Good job, Bart. Good job, buddy boy. And we got some pears. Oh, and a new um new research thing. Here we go. What is this? Basalt. Okay, great. And then we're not gonna tame these guys, but we do need to research them, of course. All right. Hello there, what's your friend's call? He kind of looks like a starry knight. So two, one, two, was that it? And then what? Do it again. Purple, purple, blue, red, and then blue oh dang it that was the wrong one purple purple blue red right and then what purple purple blue red blue red blue and then red there we go i hit the two instead of the one beautiful it's time for a nap. <laughs> I think these guys are slashers as well. Like, I think they're the same as raspberries. So not that I'm opposed to getting one. We just, right now, we just kind of need raspberry to, to be a happy helper so that we can slash through some plants. Or maybe, maybe they're like Bart. I don't quite remember. Um you uh slasher okay so they are they're like raspberry cool very good another dinosaur for our little journal we're actually getting there uh there's only one two three four five more in viridian valley a lot in dapplewood so maybe we kind of go hunting for some dinosaurs and see what we can find uh in there hey where is raspberry we lost her uh-oh, that's kind of the only dino that I need to be following us right now. <laughs> so we kind of have to go back and find her. Let's see if she's at the ranch. Ooh, free food. After we sold some, let's pick that up. Uh, yeah, where did she go? I I do kind of don't like how they kind of fall off sometimes. She's not over there, is she? Uh, no, I don't see her. I wasn't paying attention to when she kind of left us. So hopefully she's back here at the ranch, but... I d there she is. I do need her to be the one following us because she is kind of the one that we're working on, right? Hi, you. Can you follow me, please? Thank you. Okay, great. Awesome. And then let's put this away. Uh, we don't need this or this or this or this. Um, 
you know what? While we're here, let's just plant our, uh, let's just plant our carrots. And what are carrots like again? I swear, I'm gonna have to check this every single time. They like sticky fertilizer, sticky soil. Um, that's soft, that's sticky. Okay, great. Kind of gross thinking about sticky fertilizer, <laughs> especially become, because we know it comes from dino poop. Kind of gross. All right, let's put that there, that there, and then let's turn around and do that one and this one. And then we can fertilize four of these. We have five seeds, but that's okay. Fertilizing four of them is a great start. There's that, there's that. And then grab our seeds here and plant one, two, three, four, and five. There we go, beautiful. Okay, at least we got that done. Now, let's go take a look around Dapplewood and uh, see what we can see, I guess. We're looking for any rare dinos. Um, we're going to collect some forest wood. I'm pretty sure the logs that we're going to smash kind of respawn every day. We do have quite a lot of other stuff to get done. So I don't think it's something we can do like on a daily basis, but it is good if we have like kind of a down day to, uh, to make sure that we <gasps> look at that one. It's so pretty, not the pink one. This like rusty one over here. Oh my goodness. I love it. Uh, I actually love kind of neutral, like earthy colors like this, like this, oops, that was incorrect. Um, is what I like decorate my house in. It's like the colors that I wear. So like this dinosaur is perfect. This like, burnt like umber kind of brownie orange color <gasps> I'm obsessed it's so cute oh my goodness okay well let's see because it's probably knowing my luck it's probably not even a rare color uh journal yeah see it's a common but like how cute is that can you wake up can I get a picture next to you? <laughs> he says, no, thank you. Oh my goodness. Well, it's just a common color, but I love it. I really do wish, and maybe the devs, devs, excuse me, developers are going to add this more in the future, but I really think that they should add the ability to have more dream stones because I'm so worried about running short on them and like not having enough for the dinos that I really, really want because I want to have them all. Um, so I'm worried about running out of space and having like a limited amount of dream stones means that we have a limited amount of dinosaurs, obviously. Um, and I really, oh look, there's another one. Gosh, they're so cute. What did I drop here? Oh, a lantern. I guess I'll pick it up. I have the inventory space for it for now. Uh, yeah, this burnt umber color, uh, this oak color, rather. It's so pretty. And there's like another silver kind of color like we saw in this Drachiosaurus. Great. I love it. Okay, let's head on over here because we don't have uh, raspberries slashing ability just yet. So we can't kind of cut over that waterfall or that river over there. So we've got to cut on over here. And we're going to head over into the part of the forest where the uh, forest wood is. Oh, yeah. And there's a whole nother windmill here. I wonder if... Uh, come here, Bart. I'm going to smash this log. I wonder if... Uh, oh, we never actually went back to the, the windmill to see what it did. I thought Marlo would have told us and that I completely forgot. Oh, that was just wood. That wasn't forest wood. Um, Let's see what this one needs. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to repair it, but what if we did both in one episode? <laughs> Be pretty convenient, huh? Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, we do have enough. I just don't have it all on me, dang it. Um, okay, you know what, tell you what. I'm gonna run back to the ranch real quick and then I'm gonna grab everything that we need and I'll come back here and we will, uh, we'll repair this one.
All right, I got the stuff. Let's go ahead and repair this one as well. Two windmills in one day. Restore. Woohoo. I wonder what this one does. We'll check this one uh, before we leave, <laughs> of course. Look at that. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Hooray. Uh, what is it? Dapplewood Windmill. Okay. Historic place discovered. Oh, make sugar from apples. Okay. Very cool. So this one makes sugar. Look how cute it is. With like the little like clover windmill part of it. Very cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, Continue on doing our little exploration of Dapplewood right here to see if we can see any road dinos or pick up forest wood. And then on the way back to the ranch, I think we will check the other windmill because I failed and <laughs> we need to make sure we know what it does after completing it. I wonder if there's another windmill like in Aracotta Canyon. Like that would make sense, right? If there was one in each three locations. Oh, I left a box here too. That's right. We were having inventory problems last time we were here. I had to leave some fiber on the ground. Come here, Bart. I need you to smash uh, these logs because I forget exactly what we need forest wood for. But I just remember in my other playthrough um, that I'm playing on my switch, I just didn't have enough of the forest wood. And so it took me a few days to like really collect everything that I needed because I was basically only waiting on that. So I just want to make sure that, you know, every few episodes or so, or even if I do it off camera, I'm coming into Dapplewood, collecting the forest wood and making sure that we can like stock up. And that way we have enough for some crafting recipes and things like that. And also we obviously have to harvest all these little mushrooms because this is what is funding our ranch. These wild, wild fruits, wild um, foods and things like that making sure that we have enough to pay for our dinosaurs to eat because right now we are uh we are very poor <laughs> very very poor what is our t-rex coloration <gasps> that's really pretty i don't think it's a rare one but it's really pretty nonetheless look at that you guys are following so close my goodness more mushrooms over here to collect very good okay well, um, yeah, let me see. Let me check the to-do list really quick here. And then I also think we need to pay more attention to some of the ranch stuff before we end the episode today. We're, I mean, we're not even close to, where are we going? We're only in afternoon. So we have like a whole half a day left. Anyway, uh, give three turnips to Mari. We don't have that. Now this, speak to the townsfolk. There must be somebody that I'm missing. Maybe we haven't talked to Orani yet? Or maybe we have to talk to them in town? I'm not quite sure how to complete that one. Um, Granny is not at home. We know where the entrance is, but we need um, raspberry. Carrots. Maybe? Oh. Owen needs the fiber. Okay, so let's go to Owen. Let's go into town and see if they have carrots as well from Coraline. That would be pretty good if we could buy six carrots and just kind of like cheat our way through <laughs> those little objectives there um, just to get them checked off and done. It's actually really nice now that we have um, so much stamina on both Lucky and on Sage because we can pretty much zoom everywhere and it's pretty nice. So... Uh, the day that I'm recording this is actually New Year's Eve, and I have literally done nothing, you guys. I have had such a crazy, busy couple weeks, and I've felt so overwhelmed and so behind on everything. Do you ever feel like get that way where you just, you have a bunch of little things to do, but you just, you, you're tired and you've, you've pushed them off because they're not really that important, but now you just have like a bunch of little things to do. And the fact that there's just so many is making me, I miss the uh, town, <laughs> uh, is making me feel a little overwhelmed. So 
literally on uh, on New Year's Eve, which is today, the day of recording, I've let myself do nothing really but play video games. And it's been, it's been fantastic. Okay, unfortunately, no. However, no, not that one. I was thinking that was the Viridian Valley, like bush kind of thing to change the biome for some of our dinos, but it's not. Uh, at least I don't think it is. So anyway, I've let myself kind of do nothing. Um, because in the next couple days, I'm going to have to get my stuff together and actually go out and do some things because unfortunately my car broke down yesterday on the way to work and uh, it's it's a belt that snapped and I need to go to Owen is where I need to go. A belt that snapped, it snapped before and so I kind of know how to repair it. My dad knows how to repair it. I should be more specific. I don't do it. Um, but I do have to go find the belt because it's a it's a special size belt and things like that and it's just... It's really stressful. You know, I don't realize how much I kind of rely on my car until <laughs> until I don't have it. So that was kind of the other reason why I let myself do nothing today is because I I couldn't I can't go anywhere. I, I can't drive. <laughs> uh, that's a weight off my mind. Thanks. Well, thank you for the five tomatoes. That is fantastic. Okay, let's head over here. We looked at the Corythosauruses, but we didn't look at the windmill. That's what we need to come over here for and see what the heck this windmill does. So the other one makes sugar. This one, look at the little windmill. It's so cute. Oh, we also didn't research it. Okay. Viridian windmill. Historic place discovered. And it makes flour out of wheat. Okay. So we can make flour and we can make sugar now. I don't really know what we're gonna need those for, but I'm assuming we're gonna need it for something. Oh, I can't go down that hill. Okay, well, we can see what color dino's over there. Sugar and flour. Okay, very cool. Um, Yeah, like I said, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I, I don't really have the best relationship with the whole cooking thing, um, but maybe it'll come in handy in the future and we'll actually need to cook. Excuse me, buddy. We're just gonna uh, harvest these little cranberries here on our way back to the ranch. Head on back to the ranch and see if there's some cleaning up and whatnot that we can do there. Uh, Raspberry has got to be a happy helper sometime soon. Oh, look, it's a Bart twin. And uh, another one that's not really an, a super interesting color. Okay, there's just two of them over here. Let's see if there's any, oh, we still haven't cleared those rocks. Wow, I'm a slacker. We need to bring Cranberry over here and uh, and get those rocks smashed out so we don't have to go the long way. We have a lot of stamina, but we're almost running out of stamina for Lucky. We might have to switch to, uh, oh, we don't even have Sage with us. Okay, well, that's great. We'll make it home. It'll be all right. Uh, but yeah, Raspberry has to be a happy helper sometime soon. She's been at full green for what will be two days now once we sleep for tonight. So hopefully, fingers crossed in the morning, she will be there. However, tomorrow is the picnic thingamajiggy. Oh, you know what? Isn't it for the picnic? Don't we like bring something? I think we're supposed to bring like a meal or something. I guess we can just bring like a food item, right? Um, okay, let's drop off a bunch of stuff. Actually, let's put this in some of our dinos uh, Ex uh, pens. I almost said exhibits. <laughs> Let's drop off all of that and then we'll feed our dinos. Uh, we don't want to plant either of those. Oh, we do have a turnip. How many turnips did we need? Three. Okay, dang it. Well, we do have a lot of crops that are going to be ready hopefully sometime very, very soon because we do definitely need the money. But let's see who is happy and who is not. Uh, three happy. Okay, great. How about you? I think there's something wrong with cranberry. One unhappy. Not enough food in the trough. I can fix that. Give you some food. Also, you have poop in your pen, which you did not uh, seem worried about, but let's go grab our shovel and clean that up. We also, I know I've been kind of sort of ignoring jelly, but at some point we'll want jelly to be a happy helper as well. I kind of forget what jelly's um, uh, job is, trait is, what do you call it? Skill, what her skill is. Um, but at some point we're gonna want her to be a happy helper as well. There we go, picked up all the poop. Cranberry's happy, beautiful. 
let's just go say hi to Jelly because we haven't really said hi to her today. And oh my goodness, the pile of poop you've left. Jelly. Miss. Can you come over here? Can I pet you? No, I'm not your trough. I want to pet you. You have left the biggest pile of poop. <laughs> oh my goodness. What kind of fertilizer does she leave us? Oh, she gives us three. Okay. Uh, or nine. Nine firm fertilizer. What a good girl, Jelly. Okay, great. And we should probably give her her forest biome back at some point as well, too. Um, but not a high priority right now. Is, uh, are you at your full circle? You are. Okay, great. Raspberry, if you could just be a happy helper tomorrow, that would be wonderful. Uh, okay, well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon. I have just a little bit of time left. I'm going to do some cleaning up on the ranch, clearing out some of this area over here so that we can make room for maybe more crops or another pen. I'm actually thinking maybe we will move all the crops to behind the house at some point. Uh, maybe when it switches seasons, we'll start to plant stuff behind the house and then get rid of uh, these crops up here is what I'm thinking. Just because it would be easier to have all the dinos up front, right? Just because... I don't know, just cuz? <laughs> you can let me know down in the comment section below, but I'm gonna do some cleaning up and uh, prepare for the next day. And tomorrow is the picnic, so we will go do that. We will continue to look for some dinos. We will hopefully have a happy helper in Raspberry so that we can uh, get to Arakata Canyon and, uh, and yeah, so on and so forth. So, Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider leaving a like and a comment down below. It really does help me out and I greatly do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next episode. Bye.